Hello, this is Jack on the Synchrony team. What I want to do today is showcase one, you know, how it works and what it looks like, but two, how it's different and what else you might be working on in this space. This is an untrained version of Claude. This is the out of the box version. I haven't done any special or specific work here. Simply connected it to my Synchrony instance where it is using that data as the context to run these queries. So let's go ahead and ask Claude, you know, hey, give me a quick overview on this data set and tell me which customers are at the highest risk of churn. Let me go ahead and ask Claude to do that. And what it'll do is it'll start analyzing my Syncry information and start providing me updates on, you know, what it has figured out, what the overview is, and then start to tell me what's going on, which customers might be at the highest risk of churn. And it'll do that completely autonomously. Maybe, you know, bullets and numbered lists aren't your preferred method of digesting information. You can also ask uh, LLM like Claude to produce an analytics dashboard. So let's ask it to do that. This is really valuable as opposed to maybe taking a long time to produce a dashboard in your preferred dashboarding tool or uh, requiring the right team members to go ahead and build this out for you. You can have an LLM like Claude build this on the fly based off the information that it has in Syncry creating you know, top of the line metrics and reporting that'll tell you exactly what you need to know based off the information Claude has access to, uh, depending on uh, your, your access to the Syncry platform. Great, and so now we have a dashboard telling us an overview of what's going on with our uh, Count360 data set here. We can see various subsets of information, as well as you know, what those critical churn risk accounts are. Um, and various other sets of information that might be valuable to us. Let's pick this Rudel account, for example. Let's say I now want to know who the owner of this account is. Let's go ahead and ask Claude that question. So what Claude's going to do is now dig into my Syncry model here and tell us who the owner of that account is, if it can find that information. Hey, you know, go figure out who the email uh, associated with Jack Smith is and send them an email uh, notifying them of this information. Create a new ticket in Syncry to track this change beyond just an email communication. So we can go ahead and ask Claude to create this ticket inside of Syncry as well, creating net new information to then cascade out to our connected systems, maybe something like Zendesk or Jira or otherwise, and create that new ticket on our behalf rather than have to uh, create it manually. It'll go ahead and process this through, look up the various information that's valuable to us and make sure that information gets back to Syncry so it can cascade out to your destination systems.